The first sign that I knew something was wrong was in January 2015, and I just returned from an ice climbing and mountain climbing trip in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. I had lost a lot of weight during that trip, and I had noticed I wasn't putting the weight back on. I had some stomach discomfort, and I had some back discomfort. It was at that point that we had found a golf ball-sized tumor that was on my sacral spine. How do I tell my wife, my best friend, my soulmate, that I may not be here in six months and everything we had planned for more than likely won't happen? We received the diagnosis of stage four lung cancer and an appointment had been made for me to see my oncologist first thing on Monday morning. The doctor came in, introduced himself, and the first thing he said was, you must have a million questions. And I said, no, I, I just have one question for you. And he said, what's that? And I said, am I going to die? And he said to me, who am I to tell you that you're going to die after what you did this past weekend? Something most people couldn't do. He said, I will fight for you as hard as you fight for yourself. Prior eras, stage four lung cancer was felt to be incurable. With all of our advanced technologies and abilities here at Hackensack Meridian Cancer Care, we're able to offer many more advanced therapies. He looked at my case as a very unique, very individual case where many surgeons would not have even considered doing surgery on me. In Dave's case, our treatment plan centered around first treating his lesion in his bone with radiation, and that very focused radiation eliminated the tumor with minimizing any additional treatment to surrounding areas, thus minimizing side effects. What radiation oncology is, is we're delivering high energy x-rays, and we're using those x-rays to kill cancer cells. With the technology that we have now, we've really minimized and come a long way. It can allow us to deliver a very high dose of radiation to a very small tumor precisely in a short amount of time. This prompt uh, treatment allowed us to then operate on him and using minimally invasive techniques, we're able to cut out the tumor that was in his lung that had started this and have him out of the hospital about the next day. It's been two years since um, my last surgery, which was in January 2016, and I've been without a tumor since 2017, which is really miraculous. I'm doing quite well. I owe so much to the team, not only their medical care, but them inspiring me and them encouraging me and them being there every step of the way. I think about what it was like before I was diagnosed with cancer. I think about what it's like now and I wouldn't change a thing. I'm the luckiest guy around. There's no question about that.